anime viewer, I did not know what to expect, but I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Welcome to I just react and review. My name is Ashmita. Hope you all are doing well. And today's review is really, really interesting for me. I am so excited to share my thoughts because this is the first time I am reviewing an anime. So a couple of weeks back in my community tab, I had asked that if there are any anime fans, and a lot of you gave me your suggestions of what anime I should be watching. You know, I was taken aback by the response. So thank you so much for all your suggestions. So after going through all the comments of you know recommendations and suggestions, I finally picked Death Note as my first anime watching experience because uh, you know you guys told me that that would be a good starting point for me to get into anime. And boy was I pleasantly surprised! I did not know what to expect when I started watching this, but. the storyline just blew me away so yes because i was so impressed by it i decided that i would definitely be sharing my thoughts on this so yes let's just get into the review i think for me the biggest biggest strength was the storyline because i really did not expect such a unique plot to be there so to put it very very briefly this story is about a high school teenage boy who discovers a supernatural notebook which is called the death note now this notebook doesn't belong to earth it belongs to a different realm and he discovers it by accident the power of the notebook is that if you know the name of a person and if you have the face of that person on your mind and you write the name on that notebook that person is going to die within 40 seconds now light as a teenager is very very intelligent himself and once he discovers the power of this notebook he thinks that his intentions initially are very good that he wants to discard or eliminate all the criminals of the world and make the world an ideal place by using the death. note but as he starts getting addicted to this notebook he starts feeling that he is the supreme power he can become the supreme power and he can become the law of the world of course with all these killings going on there are a set of people there's a team which starts investigating onto this to catch who is doing all these killings such such a unique storyline i absolutely was hooked from episode 1 there are 37 episodes in total uh, but oh my god they are just so so addictive i loved loved the storyline Almost everything from the animation to the dialogue delivery I loved whoever did the voices for each and every character but there are certain things which I did not also like uh probably maybe that's just me but the first I want to get that out of the way okay so the character I really could not connect with was Misa uh, now I know she was obsessed with light uh, and light's character slash kira now I know I think I understood that yes she was supposed to be that obsessive about him and had this uh, child like behavior but still i really could not connect with that obsession also the female voice over of misa was well to put it very uh, you know humbly was a little tad bit annoying to my ears overall her character sketch was made out to be like this innocent girl who will blindly follow the person that she loves but i don't think i feel that you know with her doing all the deaths and you know she had the second death note i didn't think that she was that innocent at all she had her brains but then overall when her character was shown to be so blindly obsessive with kira slash light I just couldn't connect with that because as second Kira she was ruthless she wanted to get the attention and to get lights attention she killed random people so i mean not that innocent at all so yeah for those who have watched death note please let me know like this was my perspective of uh, you know misa but i think her character could have been churned out in a much more complex way like how else character was or light's character was so even even uh, light's dad yagami mr yagami i think these characters were churned out really well uh, but i don't think misa's character overall was done full justice There are so many so many things that I loved about the series. Uh, first I want to talk about the background score. I think the background score was 
fabulous especially when l who is the lead investigator in this case who wants to catch light aka kira uh, would uh, would be thinking and you know would be contemplating and you know finding out clues and doing his deductions the background music for l was so so unique and nice i loved it i also loved that intense background score that was happening when all the killings were going on that was really unique and it really gave the feel of that intensity of those scenes second the voice overs done for light and l both of them the the voice the way the dialogue delivery was suited so well for both these characters especially light i think the guy who did the voice over for light was fan Fantastic. His name is Mamuro Miyano. Now I found out a little bit about him. He is a very well-known voice actor over there in Japan, and he is also a singer. So Light's dialogue delivery had to switch from sincerity to menacing, and that transition shown was so beautiful. That's why I really liked the guy, this guy who did the voiceover for Light. Third, I loved how every episode had this amazing cliffhanger. Every episode, from episode one till episode. 36 the penultimate episode all episode ended with such cliffhangers that you you are tempted to click to the next episode and watch it i had to stop myself of course but that's what i'm saying every episode how well written and thought out these cliffhangers were that okay at this point we have to end this episode and at this point we have to end the next episode i think that was fabulous fourth the overall writing of the entire story story in terms of how it will flow from this event to that event point a to point b because it's a it's a pretty complex storyline it's not a very linear storyline that okay one thing killing is happening investigation is going on it's not like that there are just so many elements that are involved in this particular storyline so the way it has been written and made into a such a beautiful and fast paced uh, anime series i absolutely loved that fifth the intelligent deduction between light and l uh, that was really well thought out and shown because both l and light are very very intelligent in their own field so how they are trying to deduce and one up each other was brilliant i really liked the mind games that were played in this entire series. is that needs to be like it, it this is intelligent writing and the final thing that i loved about this entire thing was yes it is a very very entertaining watch but there are if you you know think a little bit deeply about it there are so many things that we can learn and take away from the series but even if it's like an animated series so many underlying things to take away from it number 1 the concept of greed uh, now light even though his intentions were good that he wants to you know uh, eliminate all the criminals initially and then how possession of this notebook changes his mind changes his thinking that he wants to become the law he wants to become the supreme god the way this greed angle was shown was beautiful and it you know it has shown that the best of the people can be swayed away by greed second light's father's character i think it was beautifully carved out and he, there's so much to take from his character as well how principally uh, you know well grounded his thinking was his character shows that you know it is possible to live life with certain set of principles and if you are very clear and well thought out in your principle that this is the way of my life nothing nothing can deter you from your path third thing which is very important thing that we can take from l's character now l is a very very intelligent investigator he's young he's intelligent he knows he can you know guess all of kira's moves but he's also just a human being at the end it was shown that l was really not that invincible you can be the most intelligent person but there is still a chance that you will be defeated
Overall, I definitely give the series a big, big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for suggesting this to me. Please let me know what is the next anime that I can move on to. This was a good starting point for me because I like, I always, you know, feel that for me the storyline is very, very important. If the storyline and the narration is done right, whether it is uh, anime, whether it is a feature film, whether it is series, short film, everything will then fall into place. So yes, that was my. quick analysis on the japanese anime series death note for those who want to start watching anime i think death note is a good good starting point i absolutely enjoyed it you will be able to finish it off also fast please let me know for those who have watched death note what you liked and what you did not like about the series and certain perspective that i would have missed out while watching it i hope you enjoyed this review and i hope you have come till the end of the video if you have thank you so much for watching i will see you on my next video bye bye